Hi, I'm Mary Rogers, and this is the Cuisinart Belgian Waffle Maker. It's really fun to use because it actually rotates. So let me show you how that happens. You put the batter in. I'm just going to, you would put your batter in here. I'm going to do it in a little bit. And you just rotate it 180 degrees. And that's really important to make a really crisp exterior of your waffle, but still get a tender interior because it distributes the waffle batter really evenly around the plates. And it gives it a chance to really crisp up on the outside. So you'll notice it's a stainless steel exterior. It also has this removable tray, which is really great because if you happen to put too much batter in the, in the uh, waffle maker and you get some spills, this is removable. You can throw it right in the dishwasher or even just hand wash it right in the sink. So it's a thousand watts. It has um, a ready light here. So it'll tell you when the waffle maker is up to temperature. I preheated it so we didn't have to um, wait. And I just want to show you the dial is on the top. Um, so you have your power and you're ready on this side. And on the other side, this is the ready for when it's completely baked. The dial here is what you use to pick your um, shade control. I usually like to put it on about four. That comes like a really nice medium brown. So let's go ahead and make a beautiful Belgian waffle. The, like I mentioned, the plates are very deep. They're one inch deep. We're just going to um, season the plates just a little bit before we get cooking. This happened to be a little damp because I washed the, um, the brush, so it's crackling a little bit. So just, you know, mind that if you do that yourself. So I actually mixed up the batter in advance. Um, this is a ginger-based batter. Um, always put it right in the middle of the plate. Let me just I'm gonna scoop it out because this is a very, very thick um, Belgian waffle batter. So get that out. And if you want, you can help distribute it if you like. This happens to be yeast based, so it's a little more tacky. We're just gonna close it, flip it. And we're going to wait till the light comes back on. And it beats three times. We're going to see how beautifully it cooked our Belgian waffle. So let's check on our waffle. There it is. It's nice and crispy and golden brown. It didn't overflow. It's not perfectly round, but that's okay. It's still going to taste delicious. So what we're going to do is put just a little bit of fruit on top. And then add a little bit of extra creamy whipped dairy topping to make it really beautiful and fun to eat. So there you have it, the Cuisinart Belgian Waffle Maker. It's fun to use. Who wouldn't want to have one in their home?